Hello, this is Mitch Montgomery, Golden Harvest Agronomist for Northwest Iowa. And I want to talk to you a little bit today about some of the drought symptoms we've been seeing and drought stress we've been seeing in, in central Iowa and west central Iowa. We're seeing this quite often on some very heavy soils, high water capacity holding soils. So I'm going to walk through some of the causes of that uh, and what we're likely to, to see, some of the deficiency symptoms we're likely to see because of that, as well as how to remediate that. In this part of central Iowa, uh, we do a lot of tillage. Uh, typical, typical tillage patterns, we'll have a year of corn. We use a disc ripper to work those corn stalks in the fall. Then the next year we'll plant soybeans. And then the following rotation, or in that rotation, we'll go back to corn uh, in that typical corn soybean rotation. Uh, so what we're seeing here in this field is, is drought stress symptoms. Seeing it pretty common through a lot of central Iowa uh, this week. As you can see here as we dig down, we've got about 10 inches uh, to a foot of soil that uh, the roots have, have been pretty active in. And we've scavenged uh, most of the moisture out of there. But you see a layer right here, like I said, about 10 or, 10 or 12 inches. And as we break the soil back, as we dig in the soil, we're pretty consistently breaking that layer off in these dry conditions at about that that same depth so we're very dry in the top 10 inches as we dig below that layer below that 10 or 12 inches you can see we've got considerable moisture at depth so below that that 10 inch layer we have considerable moisture you can almost ribbon the soil so from 0 to 10 inches we're very dry almost powder dry and the soil breaks apart falls apart we've scavenged most of the moisture out of it and we're seeing drought stress symptoms so why are we seeing that well as i said earlier we could, we traditionally in central iowa do a lot of tillage uh, we work our corn stalks with a disc ripper and we tend to be pretty aggressive we'll see often uh, depths of of eight to ten inches on our on our points but we'll also be equally as aggressive with our discs or, or sometimes more aggressive with the disc portion of that disc ripper. And we'll see pretty good down pressure put on our discs. And what that's been creating, and I've seen this in, in several fields in north central Iowa, is it's, it's creating a layer right at the bottom of those points. Our down pressure on our discs are, are pressing the ground in front of our ripper, in front of our ripper points. And those points are not running at enough depth to take that entire compressed layer out. So we're seeing a horizontal layer at about that 10 inch range. That's oftentimes preventing root development just from that compaction. We're preventing root development, uh, roots, roots penetrating through there or a great number of roots from penetrating through there. Uh, so we're not seeing that penetration. We're also seeing a lack of water movement we're interrupting the capillary action that would generally cause that moisture to wick back to the surface and under periods of intense heat and drought stress we can't replenish the surface moisture through capillary action uh, from the subsoil because we're seeing that barrier there so in turn we're seeing stress induced deficiency symptoms that uh, if they go on after pollination will affect kernel abortion will affect ear set uh, and we're seeing that in some of the wettest parts of our field. As you pull these, dig these roots out of the ground, you can see that the root ball breaks off right at that tillage layer. So we had our points running, our discs running uh, somewhere above this layer, our tillage points were running about here, and we created a compaction layer right at about that 10 to 12 inches. You can also see another layer closer to the surface where we see another horizontal layer that would be consistent with field cultivator depth. So in a year where we had some of the, the fastest uh, or the one of the fastest planting windows in, in central Iowa uh, for planting corn in, in west central Iowa that we had, and we had very dry surface conditions, we had some subsoil or subsurface that really wasn't quite fit. Uh, and that is showing up even today. As we deplete that, that surface layer or that tillage layer and we cannot draw any moisture from that subsoil, 
uh, we're seeing stress. So we have this layer that's affecting water movement in our soil at that 8 to 10 inches. What do we do about it? Well, this fall, uh, you know, in season, there's not a lot we're going to be able to do. We're going to have to pray for rain and, and hope we can get spoon-fed enough rain to, to take care of this issue and to keep the corn crop uh, uh, growing and developing. But how do we get rid of it? This fall, when we work these stalks, we want to make sure, number one, that we have our, disc, our, our points on our disc ripper below this layer. We want to run them one to two inches below that layer. The only way we're going to understand if we're below that is with a spade or with a penetrometer, uh, a tile probe, something like that, to make sure that we're doing the job we intend to with that ripper. Second thing we want to do, especially if it's wet, is to make sure that we're exerting as little force as possible or little force as needed on that leading disc gank. We want to make sure that we're not injecting compaction or pressing that soil with that disc gang deeper than what the points are taking it out. Rule of thumb, I want to keep that disc, bottom of that disc blade no closer than about five or six inches from the bottom of those points. Again, you can verify that with the spade as you're digging behind that ripper. The soil conditions have really been the, the issue or the cause of this. We've had numerous falls in the past few years where we've had to do tillage when it's been very wet. So as long as we continue to do that, we're going to continue to have to be very careful about what horizontal layers we're placing in our soil at depth. When we get years like 2020 where we have drought stress symptomology or we have weeks without, without rain and we have some hot dry conditions, we're going to see this continue to show up until we can get rid of that layer that's causing it. Thanks for listening. Again, this is Mitch Montgomery, Golden Harvest Agronomist from Northwest Iowa. Thank you.